Hey, what's up, dudes? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. Today, I have a few interesting things to talk about. It looks like Behavior has heard the FNAF community within Dead by Daylight's community, with this pretty, pretty good news for you guys. And also, we have some more news on the Stranger Things license issues, what's going to be happening with everything with that. Uh, so, we'll be talking about that. That information just so happened to come out, like, right after I did my Stranger Things update video earlier. But I wanted to add that here so you guys knew about it. But before we we get completely into it and break down all this craziness if you guys were updated informed or entertained i really appreciate a like on the video it helps out a ton with visibility and showing the video off to other people and it just means a lot to me and also if you want more dead by daylight daily dead by daylight content like this make sure to subscribe to the channel it also means a ton and you get daily content so it's an even trade but anyways let's go ahead and jump into this so we need to talk about the elephant in the room first uh and that is the fnaf news so the this is from Leaks by Daylight. Uh, they say, it's not easy, but Behavior would like to please the community on a chapter in collaboration with FNAF. The source is the same that allowed me to anticipate that the Resident Evil chapter would have Leon, Jill, and Nemesis. So this is from Leaks by Daylight. Um, I, I can't really say anything bad about Leaks by Daylight. The few videos that I've made talking about something they've said, uh, people have like kind of been rude in my comments and they were like don't trust leaks by daylight they're not a you know credible source they're not reliable uh go to dvd leaks which is fine well and good uh but everything i've seen from leaks by daylight has yet to be you know fake or like false so with that being said i think we're just going to take this information for what it is uh it, it's really obvious like yeah uh, Leaks by Daylight is coming out and saying, you know, uh, I have a source that's telling me that Behavior really wants to please the community with a chapter collaboration for FNAF. And this source is apparently reliable, you know, Resident Evil and everything. So that's, that's really good, but this is obvious right now. It's nice to have the official information, but we knew with the outcry and the support that came out for FNAF and Springtrap uh, during all the Hellraiser teases and Pinhead teases, you know, thinking that it was Springtrap and FNAF, like, we, we all know that that behavior heard y'all heard the FNAF community I mean I was getting so many views a video you know other content creators were getting insane amounts of views talking about these characters in their videos because the community was thinking that's what it was and even a lot of us at the start were thinking that's what it was so of course behavior heard y'all I am betting man we're going to see a FNAF chapter within the next year it might be literally this time next year but I am I'm betting, I'm willing to almost bet anything that you you guys are going to have a FNAF chapter in Dead by Daylight. There was just too much hype and popularity around the teases for those specific characters. So that is some really good news for the FNAF community. I know a lot of people were a little bit disappointed uh, when it ended up being Pinhead, but I'd say Tom is all you guys really have to wait now. I don't think it's a matter of if, I just think it's a matter of when at this point. But now we move on to the smaller information for this video, and that is the icons for the Stranger Things. Now this is one that I'm actually pretty upset about. If they already have the characters in the game, if they already have the Demogorgon, Steve, Nancy, whatever else, are they changing the chase music for the Demogorgon? Like, are they doing all this shit? Because they're even changing the icons for the perks. And I'm gonna pop up the comparison picture. This is from D DBD Leaks over on Twitter. And you can see everything's completely changed. They changed, well, like I said, everything. I, I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like not having Steve as the babysitter, uh, you know, park anymore. I don't like not having Nancy as inner strength. And then you got Nancy over on the left with Better Together. I don't like that. And then you don't have Steve on second wind. Like, everything that made these perks iconic. And, you know, I, I know it's Stranger Things. That's what made the perks iconic. But, I mean, we already... We paid to have it how it was. You know, we didn't pay for it to get changed to these half ass you know generic perks later on and i know they are becoming generic perks and that's why they have to do this but it, it's still frustrating it's like i paid for this stuff to be a certain way and i can deal with losing the map but when you take the personality away from the perks that at that point i was paying for it that makes me a little upset i know things change i know shit happens when it comes to it and there's nothing i can do there's probably not a whole lot of behavior can actually do since they made the deal it's probably a thing of you know let us buy this license back or we'll see you in court big hoss you know or something like that but it's still just a little bit frustrating i'd like to know what you guys think about it in the comments down below i can i can already imagine some of the comments uh when it comes to the perks at least but i still want you guys to let me know what you think about the good news when it comes to fnaf are you guys excited uh now like i said this is a matter of 
you know, when, not if, but it still could be like a hot year out, you know? It still could be a little bit out. So don't expect it like next chapter or even the chapter after next. We're gonna have to have some, have some patience, but I, I'm betting it's gonna be soon at least. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below. I'm very interested to hear what you guys have to say about it. That's gonna do it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Tootin. I've been your host, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.